What's up everyone, I'm Niceish and welcome to yet another Rust electrical tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna take a tiny step back and cover some of the fundamentals to help get you started wiring like a pro on day one. Let's do it. And we are back. Let's just go ahead and jump right into this. We're gonna break this up into three general sections here. We're gonna do a you know, power source to your base, what to do when, when you get that power to your base, and then we're gonna just build something generic to kind of show you the sort of mental workflow you should be using when you're, you're, you're using electrical components on your base. So let's start with the root power sources. So what, what are they? Root power sources are gonna be one of three things in Rust. It's gonna either be a solar panel, a wind turbine, or the small generator. Um, and these are considered root power sources because they are the beginning of your electrical system. Without them, you cannot proceed. So obviously they are paired with the root combiner. Um, uh, and so what is the root combiner? The root combiner is, is simply a, a switch that allows you to combine multiple power sources into one output. And so um, for instance, here I have, I have five solar panels and a wind turbine. And so I'm gonna need, that's six items. So I'm gonna need one, two, three, four, five root combiners. The simple way to think about this is whatever the amount of your root power sources, whether it be, if it was just these five solar panels, I would need four root combiners. If I had 20 of these solar panels, I need 19 root combiners. It's always gonna be your, your number of root power sources minus one, and that is the number of root combiners you need. And the way this works is that you can hook up the output technically to any of these inputs. It doesn't matter. It's easier if you do a little bit of uh, you know, wiring to make it look nice like this so you can keep track of it easier, but really it doesn't matter. All you have to do is hook up all of your root power sources into any input, and then the combined power outs, you're gonna run those to the available um, unused inputs on your, on your root combiners. And so in this way, once you've done that, you will always end up with one combined power out that represents all of your your root power sources coming together. Um, so, and that's of course, then you're gonna run that power out. In this case, I have it run into a large battery. A large battery requires a minimum of 125 volts if it's fully loaded. So you should assume to supply it with 125 volts or more. Uh, and that you're gonna hook that combined power out into whatever battery you're using. In this case, it's the large battery. And so if this is your setup or something similar, you know, what do you do when you get this root power source all put together and you're in your base? So how do you, how do you, how do you keep track of all this? How do you wire this in a way that makes sense? And I think this is probably the biggest hurdle that most new um, players to Rust Electrical go through. I think that, you know, this is where it gets a little wonky for people. Um, but really, um, if you think about it, the best way to describe this is to use the branch switch because the branch switch is hands down your best friend in Rust Electrical. And why is that? Because you can think of the branch switch as part of a tree. Um, you, you know, probably no surprise to you that these all seem to have tree names. Uh, the branch switch is like the trunk of a tree with branches coming out. You can think of the power in and the power out as the trunk of the tree. So, you know, you have this trunk of the tree that has X amount of many volts coming into it, right? And it continues on the power out. That's the trunk of the tree right there. And the branch out is branches of the tree coming out and you get to tell it how much you want to go that direction. And so the great thing is this. So let's say this one right here, this this bottom light here, let's pretend, let's see what's it set to 11. So let's pretend that that's for, you know, the default of these things is two. Um, you know, let's say I wanted to hook up a turret. Turret requires 10, this switch requires one. I'm gonna set this branch to 11 so that I have available one for the, I have one available for the switch. And then on the output, I have 10 arriving at our, say, turret. Um, this next one, let's see, we'll set this, I set to 13. So let's pretend, let's say, I think, let's see, that's could be, let's say we have, uh, let's say we have six lights. There we go. So we have six lights. That means you need 12 for the lights, but you also need one for that switch. So 13, you need one and then 12. And so if you turn this on, you'll see that we have 13 arriving here. We have 12 coming out and 12 arriving at our mock you know, six lights that require two volts each. And so every time you branch something off, the branch out is priority. And so the branch will always, always, always send out whatever you dictate that you want to come out the branch, assuming that the volts are available. 
before it lets whatever's left go out of the power out. And so that's important to understand because what that means is if you have, in this case, 99 coming in here, and the reason is this thing takes a volt, but you have 99 coming in here, we took 11 out our branch of our tree here. This is the trunk of the tree. We branched off 11 for this turret over here. And what the branch is gonna do is say, okay, well, there's the 11 we sent out. I now have 87 left in the trunk of my tree. So I'm still going, it's just it's just in there, right? And so this next one, it's the, the trunk of the tree continues going on, but you're like, hey, I need 13 for lights or whatever. Uh, and so it's like, great, well, there's your 13. And now I have this much left over. And so, and th that just continues on. So this one up here could be, you know, as a 26, say that's uh, something for your farm or whatever, something that's a little more voltage heavy, uh, you know, a, a Tesla coil or something. And the, the point is, though, is that what ends up happening is that the branch is always going to tell you what you have left in the trunk of the tree. And so, you know, you could keep this thing going and do more branches and more branches and more branches. Uh, but whatever you have left will always be coming out of the power out. And that's the important thing to remember when you're trying to design things is that the branch switch allows you to really, really, you know, control what you have going on, how much volts you send where, and really importantly, as long as you keep these branches in a really secure place, like your TC room, that's where I put all this stuff, is that, you know, the, the trunk of the tree is in your TC room. This stuff, these turrets are outside, these lights are throughout the base, this 25 volts for your farm is where, or whatever it is. Um, if you destroy, if, if everything's running, we have our lights, we have our turret, we have our Tesla coil, I guess, whatever. Um, if someone does something to your turret and destroys it, that doesn't affect these at all. These are still running. If someone blows up your farm, uh, that's that's not gonna affect your lights in your base. If someone breaks into your base and busts up your lights, but they didn't go on the side with your turret, that turret's still out there, it's still on. Or maybe this turret's sitting by your, right outside your TC or something. Um, the point is, is that these are independent circuits that are not affected by each other. So this is the way you wanna wire up your base. You don't wanna daisy chain everything together because if you happen to, if someone happens to break the, earliest piece in that chain, everything dies with it. So I hope that's clear. Uh, we're gonna kind of cover this here in a minute over here, but think of the branch as the trunk of a tree, you know, your power into your power out. This is the trunk of the tree and the branch out is individual branches that have different needs and you can set those needs specifically in the branch out configuration. All right, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna, you know, using these ideas, we're just gonna build something uh, generic, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab, let's see, let's grab lights, let's grab a couple of turrets, I'm gonna grab a splitter, um, let's grab some switches, obviously we need a bunch of branch switches. Um, and so we're just gonna build something generic. This right here represents a large battery, it's the same thing as this battery coming into here. Um, so I've got this output. And so the way you start this is, you know, you've got your root power, we've got all that coming to here. Uh, the first thing you do is you start with a branch, always. So if I put this branch right here, this is how I would do it in my TC room, and let's say I was gonna start with lights. I could hook up a light. Let's say my, my base is very, very small. I've got a really awesome two by two, and I only need three lights. And so I'm gonna hook up a branch that is for my lights. That's its entire job. So from the power source, you're gonna run that power source. Let's do this in red. You're gonna run that power source to your first branch there. And you're gonna say, okay, well, I've got lights, but I also need a switch. So let's put a switch in the room where the lights are. We'll put that over there. You know, this this here is your TC room. This is some other room where the switch is where these lights are at. And so what we're gonna do is we're just going to hook up these lights. We'll make the lights a green circuit. How about that? From the branch out, because remember the branch out is the things you're doing, lights, turrets, whatever. So from the branch out, I'm just gonna run uh, a line to the input on my switch like this. And then I'm gonna run the output of that switch up to my first light. And I would, if, when you're doing lights, I would suggest that you wire them from the core out so that as people are breaking in and breaking lights, they're you know they're not affecting lights earlier in the chain. That's just, I mean, that's just, a, that's, that's me, but do, you do you. Uh, so we're gonna hook all these lights together into one circuit. And we are going to, there we go. And so now we've got these three lights, we've got a switch, and right now the branch is set to two. So if I turn this on, one light's gonna turn on uh, because you know we have just enough voltage arriving at this, at this um, light, which doesn't quite make sense, but that's just something else that we're not gonna get into. Uh, but basically we don't have enough for these lights. So if you look at this situation, you say, well, how many, I've got three lights and a switch. Each light requires two volts, so that's one, that's two, four, six. 
and then this requires one volt, so that's seven. So if I set this branch to seven, that's gonna take care of my lights over here. And now I have 91 left over of my large batteries. And now if I turn these on, it turns on all my lights. And if you go to your very, very last light, you'll see that it has two arriving. You can test this to make sure that you've done this right, You know that you're not over wasting volts by subtracting one. And now you'll notice that that light turned off. Uh, because I don't quite have enough. And so I can put it back to seven. Now I know I have the perfect amount of volts going to my lights and that system is, is set. So that's like that's like the idea. This is one of those things. And so let's say I'm like, okay, well now I've got that. I need, I need turrets now, I need turrets. So I'm gonna start with one turret. That's all I have enough for. So I'm gonna put a new branch, put a new branch down in my TC room. And this is going to, now I'm going to continue the trunk of the tree. I'm gonna run my power out to the power in on this one here so the trunk of the tree continues and now I have a new branch this is a new the next thing I can do in my tree and so you know I have turrets so I'm gonna say well okay I'm gonna need to switch for my turrets because you got to be able to turn them off in order to load them and my turrets is gonna be right there and so if I want to run that I'm gonna have, let's make the turret line I guess blue so we'll from our branch out again we're gonna run that over to the other switch here then we're gonna run the output of that switch down and over to our turret and hook that in. So now that's hooked in, great. We have our turret hooked up, we have a way to turn it on and off. Nothing of course is gonna happen because we haven't told this tree, well, how much does this branch need? Well, that requires 10 volts minimum, 11 if you wanna use one of these other outputs, but we'll just use it in its base configuration. So we need 10 volts for this, we need one volt for that, 10 plus one is 11. We're gonna set our branch to 11. And so now, if I turn this on, our turret turns on because I have 11 arriving here. This uses the one it needs. I have 10 coming out of here, which is the what the turret needs. If I were to, if you were not sure of this, you could set this to 10 instead. Turret shuts down because the turret only has nine coming out. So that doesn't meet its minimum requirements. So you need to have the correct amount coming out of the branch in order for this to work. So let's say, you know, that's great. You've, you know, you've, uh, you've, you've moved up in the world. You've raided out your neighbors and you now have another turret and you wanna add that turret to your existing circuit. Well, you can do that. You just have to do some minor um, modifications. So let's say we get, a new, we get a new turret, we shut down our existing turret. Um, you're gonna to have to remove this line. Um, hold right click to remove lines if, you, if you're unaware of that. Uh, and then what you have to do in this case, the best way, you have two options. You could either add another branch here and add another switch and just copy this exact thing down the chain. Now you have a switch for each turret. You don't really need a switch for each turret. That's gonna take up a lot of space. Instead of doing that, you could hook up both turrets onto one switch by including a splitter in your build. And so a splitter, you know, the branch is technically a splitter, only it's an advanced splitter that lets you choose what comes out of one side. This splitter is gonna take whatever you put in it and it's gonna cut it in half or into thirds for whatever you have hooked to it. So if you have two things hooked, it'll split it into two things. If you have three things hooked, it'll split it into three. That's all it does. And so it has specific uses that cannot be used for the job of a branch, right? So it, so we would just hook this out to the splitter. This is the easy part, you know? And then we would hook, say, lines to each of our turrets like this, you know, lines from each of these turrets like so. So now we got our turrets wired into this thing. So now what? Well. Actually, it's really simple. Just like we counted up the volts we needed before, we have to count up the volts we need now. Uh, so we need 10 for this, 10 for this. So 10, 20, 21, 22. We have each one of these requires one, one, two, 10, and 10, 22. So if we now re like reconfigure this branch to 22 and then turn this on, now both of our turrets are gonna function. And if you come to the splitter, you'll see it has 21 arriving at it. We have 22 coming to the from the branch. This uses one, 21 coming out, 21 arriving here. This uses one. It's gonna take that 20 that it has left over and it's gonna evenly cut it up between whatever's hooked to it. So in this case, only two items are hooked to it. And you now have uh, two 10 volts coming out. And you know, once you've done this, this configuration can run easily. I mean, you can have one switch technically run many turrets until you run out of voltage. But um, if you wanted to even just get crazy and add a third turret, all you'd have to do in this configuration is run a line from the final output there and now you have to add in this turret. So, you know, it's gonna be 32 
And the reason for that is 10, 20, 30, 31, 32. So you go to your branch and you say, okay, I need it to be 32 now. I've got more turrets, turn this on. And now all three of your turrets are gonna work. And so this is kind of how you should be thinking about this. You know, now if this was your base, we have what, 50, we have 32 left, 58 left over, excuse me. So we, we started with almost 100. We, you know, we partitioned off seven, kind of like over here for our lights. And then we kept going on a trunk of our tree. And now we partitioned off 32 because we have three, three turrets, a switch and a splitter. Um, and now we still have 58 volts remaining in our, in our battery. So if you had some other thing, you would just continue down this line uh, and you would continue on this line until you didn't have enough volts to keep going. So the trunk of the tree keeps going, you know, here you go. Now this would be some other thing, whatever you were doing, the farm in this example, or the Tesla coil in this example, whatever. So, and importantly, the thing to recognize here is that, you know, this is always the, the last, the last branch in your, in your trunk of your tree is gonna tell you what you have left. And so we have 58 left to play or play with here. And so, and keep in mind that why this is important as I was trying to uh, allude to over here is that these are independent circuits. So this is, this tire is inside your, in your TC room. This stuff is in there wherever they need to be in the base. I would, I always put my um, turrets master switch in the TC room. Um, you know, if somebody destroys something, like let's say someone breaks into your base and they destroy that light. Yeah, it kicked off all your lights because it was the earliest light in the chain. That has nothing to do with these turrets. This switch, you could destroy this switch because they blew up that wall, the switch is gone. Still has nothing to do with these turrets because these create separate circuits of the main circuit, right? We have our trunk of our tree with separate circuits going out to their you know, perspective, respective jobs. Um, so I hope that was clear, guys. The idea here is that you should be thinking in terms of, of this. You should be thinking in terms of, of the trunk of a tree with each of its branches coming off, right? You start with your root power, you bring it all together. Root power is gonna be root power sources. Minus one gives you your, gives you your, uh, your root combiner needs, I guess. Uh, and then once you get inside the base, you build your tree, you build that trunk, and then you branch off whatever it is you need to build. Um, and this, just understanding this basic principle of rust electricity will improve everything you do. Uh, when you start building you know your own circuits or your own stuff or whatever so if you guys have any ideas or if you have any questions you know please feel free to leave them in the comments um, you can get me on my discord i hope you enjoyed this see you later